Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Today, in this video, we're going to dive into the long and intriguing history of fecal microbiota transplantation, or FMT. If you don't know what FMT is, be sure to check out some of our other videos where we go into a deep dive into what FMT is, how it's being used, and how it's made. In a nutshell, fecal microbiota transplantation is the procedure of taking a healthy, well-screened donor's gut microbiome from their stool, purifying it, and then transplanting it into a recipient's gut to restore their gut health. FMT has a long and exciting history with ancient roots and a re-emergence into our current medical system. So in this video, let's dive in and start at the beginning of the ancient roots of FMT and we'll go all the way up to today and the exciting new research that's being done. This concept dates back over 1700 years to ancient China. That's right, FMT is nothing new. Around 4th century China, a Chinese medical practitioner named Yi Hong first documented the use of something called yellow soup, which contained fecal matter for the treatment of severe diarrhea. This is the first known documented use of fecal matter to get health benefits and is the beginning of the long story of fecal microbiota transplantation. Fast forward to World War II, where German soldiers in the Africa Corp used camel stool to treat bacterial dysentery, which showed remarkable results when antibiotics weren't available. Moving on to the 20th century, FMT's story takes a turn for the more modern science, when in 1959, Dr. Ben Elsman recorded his first results using FMT, specifically fecal enemas, in the treatment of antibiotic-associated diarrhea and pseudomembranous colitis, both which are probably associated with C. diff, and showed outstanding results. Following this, in 1988, Dr. Thomas Brody performed his first FMT and published this case series that looked at the efficacy of FMT in treating non-infectious diseases, such as ulcerative colitis. Since then, FMT has gained popularity, specifically within the 21st century, as both researchers and clinicians have began to see the importance of the gut microbiome in overall health. The early 2010s saw a surge in the use of FMT in patients with recurrent C. diff infections, with clinical trials showing 90% cure rates, making FMT a popular and effective choice for this condition. But the future of FMT doesn't stop here. With the success of FMT in treating patients with recurrent C. diff infections, it spurred on research and clinical trials into understanding if FMT could be a potential treatment for other disorders, especially those with underlying gut diabiosis, such as inflammatory bowel disease, certain neurological conditions, and metabolic disorders. With the growing number of clinical trials and our understanding of the gut microbiome and FMT growing each day, I think the future of FMT as a treatment is bright. FMT has a long and varied history. From ancient roots to modern medical treatment, the use of a donor microbiome seems to have spanned centuries and continues to evolve. With our understanding of the gut microbiome's importance in overall health and the role it may play in a number of conditions, targeting the gut microbiome through treatments like FMT may lead us to some answers for many areas of unmet medical need. I'm excited to find out what's next and what the research and clinical trials can show us. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed going on this journey with me about the history of FMT. If you enjoyed this topic and want to read more or want to read more about FMT, you can check out the link in our description to our blog. As well, if you want to jump on learning more about gut health and FMT, you can sign up for our newsletter or grab our free ebook. Thank you for joining us, and I hope to see you here again soon.